All right, hello and welcome to Karate Survivor, the demo. I, um, I've been playing this actually for a little bit and um, I didn't start, I'm not starting from the menu because I was already, I was trying to record this in Streamlabs and it turns out Streamlabs is like, no, I, I don't, I don't want to record this for you. I don't like you. You're stupid. Have a wonderful day. Do something else with your life. And so now I'm in OBS and hey, guess what? It's working. Uh, so what is Karate Survivor if you didn't know? <laughs> I feel sorry. No, I don't want to say that. If you didn't know what Karate Survivor is and you came here to my channel to find out what it is, I am sorry that I will be unable to accurately describe it because I have a limited vocabulary because my dude has been beaten up in this game so much. Whether or not his brain actually works is, is really highly debatable. Uh, now, that being said, an excuse being made, this is a roguelike game. It is a very much a survivor's like with martial arts. I mean, that is... That is the game in a nutshell, and um, it's fun. It is a lot of fun. I did play the playtest some time ago, like months ago, many, many months ago, I think. I don't remember exactly when. I didn't bother looking it up because it doesn't matter. Um, the game itself is very entertaining. Uh, the skill system, as far as like um, what you unlock weapon-wise, I think it's really done pretty well. Like, it's... Um, it's one of the more enjoyable, I think, um, I don't know, um, systems in place of games similar in nature that allow you to, you know, gain new attacks. And my favorite part about it is that you can actually kind of adjust these to kind of be how you want. Like, you can kind of make a determination on, on how you want to do your attacks. If you wanted to, you know, there's a possibility you could pretty much just run through kicking people only instead of uh, doing punches and stuff or you could just punch people it's really up to you uh, it all depends on how you get stuff as well i personally go with red most of the time because i find red does more damage than anything else uh, but there are some really good options with the blue and really i think it's just like personal choice so, I mean, it's again, it's up to you. It's entirely up to you once you what, what you want to do. I like the chest because we get everything. So we get some pretty decent upgrades. The teeth that you collect are used to make upgrades for your character, permanent upgrades, um, strength, strike range, health, stuff like that. Um, you are limited in the demo with how much you can actually um, upgrade, but it's not like it's pretty bad. Like, I mean, it's a very, I think, reasonable amount of upgrades uh, is the thing that it, I think I want to say. Um, depending on how much time you have during next fist during next fest or just in general terms, you can probably easily get close to two hours out of this demo before you kind of reach a point where you just decide then it's time to go do something else, play something else, or I don't know, I'll make a lot of sandwiches, which is also really cool. I mean, I, I'm not going to judge you if you play this for 20 minutes and then go spend your day making sandwiches uh, because sandwiches are delicious. Uh, one of my favorite weapons in the, in the game right here is this baguette. Uh, and it did, does make me realize that a baguette is probably not like a weapon that's good. Uh, I don't know that, that I would use one uh, if... I just, I don't think it's actually a wonderful choice. So we can, um, again, like I said, we can kind of change things up here on how we do things if we really want to. The arrows will signify which direction, you know, things are going to attack. And I, I don't think I'm going to actually uh, make it the entire time frame that I had, had kind of hoped to. And the reason I think for that is because, like, I was trying... Oh, never mind. We got some health, so maybe I will. 
Uh, but the reason I don't think I'm going to make it all the way as far as I want to is because the game was left open while I was trying to um, figure out why I wasn't, uh, you know, recording properly. And, well, it took a lot more damage than I would have otherwise. But it's not a big deal. Whether or not I actually make it to the end, you're going to get the general gist. And then after I die, inevitably, unless I do succeed, and I'm surviving until the end of this, then I will go over the, kind of like how the upgrades are and everything. Uh, so that is at the end of the video. So if you want to just fast forward to that spot, you can. But then you'd miss out on me talking about all the things that I'm talking about, which is mostly nothing of relevance, but... nice these these chests have been like really cool i mean they've they been giving me a lot of really good stuff sometimes you get really good stuff sometimes not so much uh i think you know upgrading uh if you ever get the chance for the luck upgrade i feel like that's really one of the best things you can do probably the most useless of um of upgrades uh, that I have seen so far is the health upgrade. You would think that um, it might be pretty useful, but it isn't uh, because you don't like get to, it just doesn't give you enough health uh, fast enough to feel like it actually matters. And I think that's really kind of a disappointment. I think it's a little bit of an oversight or it just maybe just doesn't, doesn't work in the way intended or way it is intended uh and that just that could just be me and my thoughts on it but it just doesn't feel right it doesn't seem to work in the way that i would expect what i'm thinking about oh okay my regeneration is going to be 0 0.1 0 0.2 i would expect the, the green health to go up at some point uh, but i feel like even when i use it like i was getting next to nothing um So now I just really don't bother. It just, again, just doesn't seem, it just doesn't seem worth it. This little, uh, I don't know, pocket, I don't know. This area of the, um, the map, I think is my favorite location to be because it gives you like an obstacle course of sorts for these enemies to, uh, you know, have to try to navigate and you can kind of buy yourself quite a bit of time here and once especially once you're able to jump over things i think you will have a much much easier time with it And uh, one thing I think the game does a really good job at is that it makes a gun pretty powerful. Uh, you shoot something. Yeah, see, here's regeneration. Here's where I got it. It starts right here. And um, I don't I don't even know if it, like, does anything. I'm just going to keep my mouse there. Oh, okay. I lost some life. See, just, just very, very silent. Very, very slow. I don't know. Again, I just feel like it's not really worth it. And it's probably one of my only real complaints about the game. It doesn't really give you a lot of opportunity for health. Every once in a while, we get like the um, noodles that pop down that you can eat and they restore your life just like in or Yeah, they restore your health just like in real life with all that MSG. But the biggest problem, again, like I said, is it's just under normal circumstances. Uh, the regeneration is just... So the odds of you getting the regeneration, I think, are pretty pretty small uh, to begin with. And then when you get it, you know, the choices of, you know, point 0.2 regeneration or point 0.1 regeneration or whatever the case may be, comes at such a slow speed that it just doesn't feel like it really does much of anything. Um, and then... Yeah, we're about to get 
post, I think. Oh, I got the case, though. That's important. Maybe it'll be something good, like regeneration times 12. It's not. It's gonna be garbage. I got a feeling. Actually, not too bad of choices. Or not, well, not choices. But a lot of good it does, because I'm stuck in there. Alright, so again, like I said, I am not gonna waste too much of your time. I'm gonna go right into going into the upgrades and the unlocks, uh, just so you can see what you can get. So as you play, you're going to complete these little tasks, like completing killing 25 enemies, and then you unlock something. Uh, you would unlock the soft kick, and then once you uh, perform 10 rolls, which is like when you jump over something small, which is this right here, uh, you just get to start to unlock everything. So we have the medium kick, which allows you to kick stuff. Then we have the head hard kick, which opens doors. The flag gets you into that secret room. And uh, this will add a finishing toss. And this allows the sequence, which this one doesn't seem to actually... I don't know, it doesn't seem to actually match up in the demo because none of my cards actually had numbers attached to them. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of um, other things that are stuck in for the uh, the pool version. But as you can see, there is quite a few things to unlock, which I think is like pretty cool. We have like a lot of a lot of things to choose from and the more you play the more you start to unlock it looks like there's going to be quite a quite a lot of cool stuff uh i am fully upgraded with everything i can in the demo um pretty simple you know strength goes up the, your attack range life how tough you are i wish we knew what these were the things that are locked in the uh, full ver or unlocked in the full version but hey we don't it's whatever. But anyway, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's Karate Survivor. I, I really enjoy it. I think it's a pretty, pretty entertaining roguelike survivors. Like, I think uh, this is definitely one you ought to play. The link is in the description. And thanks for watching.